Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm at Rife Lake in Washington. What am I doing here? Well, James Wanderlust Estate, this is one of his most favorite places to camp. I uh, caught back up with him after I left uh, Stillhead uh, Campground the other day. Rode 20 all the way out to 5. Uh, he was through visiting his friend down there. So we were on the road for several hours, got down through Seattle. That was a lot of fun. No way to miss that town. <laughs> and uh, we come on down here. This will be, tonight will be my third night here. Let me show you around a little bit. As some of you may know, this is also one of Eric's, Nomadic Fanatic's favorite campsites. And uh, I'm going to try to keep the sun out of it so you can see here the water is way 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 down um, James was telling me that if the streams are too low with water they'll let the water out of this lake I don't doubt him but uh, I don't know for sure but just quite quite incredible I have seen uh, two or three bald eagles fishing down here in the water haven't been able to catch it on camera nice spot I was I was kind of worried and concerned about being down here a little bit um, I know that Eric has had some problems down here just you know drunks and people being unruly and partying late in the night but it gets kind of, it's been getting kind of cold at night. It's been getting down in the 20s, uh, upper upper 20s, lower 30s at night. So it gets a lot of the riffraff and partiers out of here when it gets that cold. But uh, James, he stayed here one night and he's got some work down in uh, Portland, Oregon. Just a couple hours from there maybe. And, uh, he called me earlier and told me he'd already made it. Well, he called me yesterday. But uh, I enjoyed his company here. We had a fire and sat back and uh, talked about our trip that we've had together. He's an easy person to travel with. He's a pretty good fella. I like him. I'd, I'd travel with him again. But now the wolf pack and I are solo again. Just us. There have been other people here, but everyone's left, everyone's gone. We got it all to ourselves. Again, it's my understanding you can stay here 14 days with your Washington Park Pass. I got to display mine, I keep forgetting to do that. I bet a $100 ticket would remind me, wouldn't it? I've enjoyed Washington pretty good, but Gosh, they say that there's snow over in Spokane really, really bad. Uh oh, something big just flew over my head. <laughs> Didn't get my hat. Might have been one of those eagles. I'm keeping these babies up in the RV. And when they're out, they're mostly, mostly on a leash or I'm right there with them. But uh, it's just getting colder and colder. And I don't want to... I've never navigated a pass in the snow in a Class A but once, and that was in the uh, between Cherokee and Gatlinburg. It had an ice storm up there at the top of the mountain, and it was a mess. I did have a longtime patron on my Patreon channel that uh, owns an RV site out on ocean shores. He told me that uh, he's not there, he's not using it, and has welcomed me to go over there to stay as long as you want. And I was going to do it. <laughs> Until I saw it was three, over three hours to get there. 
the cold weather wasn't coming in like it's coming, I might push it, but I feel like I'm just pushing it right up to the edge. I'm going to go. The babies have had the best time playing along these concrete barriers. I'm hoping it's cold enough where we don't have to worry about rattlesnakes or anything like that. They haven't caught anything, hadn't caught any mice. But they spent a great deal of time digging around these things. Don't you get too far under there. I can't get you out. We ain't gonna have that same experience we had up in Tennessee. Well, I thought I lost you underneath that tree. I've been brushing them a little bit today, kind of helping with that long hair. Martini's getting lighter hair around her eyes and her nose and her mouth. She's getting a little older. in there man I heard something if it rattles you leave it alone okay <clears throat> oh he's mad oh man I'll bite you I'm gonna bite you one day you'll see I, I heard something what was it, baby May Mays? I don't know. You find anything, Martini? I'm just hunting. I'm not as big as you, Tucker. I can get in there. Must be something in there, huh? You gonna scare it out? Probably a mouse or something. Uh-oh. Baby May Mays. Can you get out of there? Well, that was scary. Can you get out, May May? Yep. No problem. She went back again. I mean, I'm not strong enough to turn this over by myself. I guess I could hook a chain to it. Goodness, martinis. All right, I'll let you play. Don't you goose me. I know, I know you're going to goose me. Oh, that made her mad. I put the babies in the RV. Went and got my light. They had me curious what's in there. Ain't nothing. I don't see a thing. Y'all see anything? Maybe there's a little mouse or something way up in there, huh? It's got a good safe house. Probably couldn't find a better, warmer place around when it gets cold. Oh well. Y'all got to get you one of these lights. That's uh, 5,000 lumens. It's rechargeable, $65 at Walmart. Changed camping entirely. It'll burn two hours that bright, they say. And it's got a place, I believe this is lithium. Um, either way, you can charge your cell phone and all kind of stuff with it as well. That's where you plug it into the wall and that's where you charge your devices from it. I had one that I took back 
<clears throat> but I also don't think it was the light. I think it, my charger messed up. Did, did you find it, man? Did, did you get it? Did, did you get it? Did you see anything, Daddy? I didn't, baby. <clears throat> but it wasn't for lack of trying. What do I got? I just ate up ladybugs. Ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. I've already done this several times, not near as many in here as there were, but I've opened up my screen. Let's see if I can get these ladybugs to go somewhere else for the night. This actually is pretty effective. Hey, it could be worse. It could be stink bugs, right? Good morning, everybody. We are leaving Rife Lake, headed east. Stayed there three nights. It's very nice, very beautiful. No one bothered me. Ooh, look at these fall colors. Well, I'm on Highway 12, headed to Yakima, passing I believe this is the entrance to Mount Rainier Park. Just went through, came through Packwood, leaving Rife Lake behind me. I checked with the weather last night and there was no snow. I believe this pass is called White Pass. Let's just hope it's not white today. passing some beautiful places to camp but I need to get south get on back down to some warmer weather before I get snowed in up here Ooh, Miss Gypsy just been climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing she don't care. She's got the power. Power. Pulled over in a little uh, scenic overlook. You want to see what I'm seeing? Yeah. You're going to show them, Daddy? I am. Can I get out? Uh, how about pet me? Oh, gosh. Are you forever in need of love? And a haircut. Yep, stay in there, Tuck. Can't read it. White Pass, scenic byway. Born of fire, shaped by ice. I mean, that's impressive and all, but looky, 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 looky. Oof. So in case you guys don't know, that's Mount Rainier. I was in this area in 92 and went up and I saw Mount St. Helens pretty impressive I saw the turn for it on this road but I didn't take it pretty place we got snow we just went through White Pass back there a lot of RVers. Looks like you had a big snow, uh, like a ski resort up, up there. It's all downhill from here, entering Wenatchee National Forest. Pulling into the Wild Rose day use area. Oh, good. Looky, looky, looky. They got places to park your RV. Isn't that nice? 
It takes us just a little bit more room. Man, it's thoughtful. Some good folks. <laughs> he cracked me up. <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? So why'd you turn out in the day use area, Kevin? Been looking, a lot of the campgrounds are closed. I hadn't, I hadn't put on enough miles anyway. So I didn't, didn't stay at any of them that were open. Very few were open. But uh, the river coming through here is the most beautiful color of aquamarine. I'm going to try to get up here and get close to it and show it to you before we go. Got a nice little paved walking path right here. Can you hear the water? Well, before we do that, panning slowly. Some really odd rock formations. This gypsy's over there. Left my door open, I didn't lock it. Didn't think I'd be walking this far, but I saw this uh, deck here that goes out over the river. Goodness. I'm holding on to the camera with two hands. It's cold. I bet it's about 35 degrees. No telling how cold that water is, right? How beautiful is this? What a an odd color as well. It's pretty. All right. Had fun showing you Rife Lake, Mountain Air, White Pass, and a beautiful river. How can you get better than that, right? So while I'm ahead, I'm gonna end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. I'm not as big as you, Tucker. I can get in there. Ooh. Must be something in there, huh? You're going to scare it out? 
Probably a mouse or something. Uh oh. Baby Maymays. Can you get out of there? Well, that was scary. Can you get out, Maymay? Yep. No problem. 